experts and academics gathered at the second annual Global Prosperity Summit 2025, or GPS 2025, to discuss the most pressing issues facing the world. In a discussion on AI and the future of work, the panelists shared their views on the benefits and risks of AI in the workplace and their vision for the future. Every time we have new technological breakthroughs, particularly like AI, it uh, generates two types of effects. One alarms people and the other is actually more encouraging. The alarming thing is that we'll lose a lot of jobs. Um, that doesn't mean we'll lose a lot of people, and they'll still be around. Once you have technological progress, you actually had enormous increase in uh, income or wealth. And this creates new demands for new products and new services. So there will be a redeployment of people into new products and new services. Dr. Andrew Ng says, as technology and AI enters more industries, people that use AI effectively will be more productive, which will lead to higher wages and benefit businesses. AI won't replace people, but someone using AI will replace someone in their job, right, that, that, that doesn't use AI. So I think the um, societal-wide upskilling uh, effort that is ahead of us will be considerable. But then so are also the upside of opportunities for, for individuals that don't do good with AI. Mr. Zach Kass says people living in high-income economies see the emergence of AI in the workplace as a threat to their identity derived from one's profession. And I think that we now need to recognize that we are facing not an economic crisis in the developed world, but an emotional one. It's not a world where our work will go away and we will starve. It's a, work, it's a world where our work will change so much and so frequently, we will not be able to say who we are. Professor Su Lan has spent a lot of time thinking and researching governance frameworks around AI. He says there are three types of risks that AI can bring to societies. The first uh, type of risk is this so-called malicious use of AI, yeah. like, like deep fake and so on, those types. Those type. The second type is malfunction of, of the system. Uh, so the third is more systemic risk, like employment uh, you know, risk and so on. Professor Xu says the worst risk is if the AI system would become out of control and pose a threat to human beings. We need the government to work together. Yeah. So we need to have a UN kind of a system that allows people to work together to have an AI safety system. And then each country then would have to enforce in their own countries, in their own way, to enforce, to allow the companies to follow those rules.